Good evening, folks. This is Bill Breeden. Thank you for joining me tonight for Constellation Tour number 68. And I'm, I'm really amazed folks are still with me this far along in the in the tours. I, I appreciate you being here. It's been a long, long journey. The sky is a big place. Um, so for the 68th tour tonight, we're going to go over Crux or the Southern Cross located in the southern celestial hemisphere of the sky and in order to see it clearly we have ventured to Buenos Aires, Argentina here in Stellarium and we've got it set up for April the 11th 2021 at about 9 20 in the evening. Um, Crux is best viewed between April and June and it is it has the distinction of being the smallest constellation in the night sky but it is very prominent and probably the best and well-known signpost of the southern sky in fact i think anyone that's ventured to the southern hemisphere has um, looked for it specifically probably probably first um, maybe maybe the Magellanic Clouds, but I would think that the Southern Cross would even uh, come before that. So I know if I ever get a chance to venture down south, first thing I'm going to look for is the Southern Cross. So how do we find Crux? Well, being a signpost constellation, you just have to just have to look for it. So we're looking south, and we're going to look high up until we see a a really distinct grouping of four stars in the shape of a cross, and they would be right here. Now, don't be fooled by these stars right here, these four here. That's known as the false cross. So the true southern cross is going to be tighter um, and, near, and near to Alpha and Beta Centauri right here. So, crux can also be used to point your way to the south celestial pole in the sky. Folks that live down south don't have the benefit of a bright north star or a bright south star, which would be equivalent to our north star that we have in the northern hemisphere, Polaris. Uh, the star that would serve the purpose of a south star is known as... I have to think about this one. I think it's Sigma Octantis, and it's a fifth magnitude star, so not very easy to see. So, what folks tend to do to find the the south the south celestial pole is to use the Southern Cross. So you want to draw a line between these two stars and extend it downward, and then you want to look for Alpha and Beta Centauri and bisect it with a perpendicular line and extend that downward. The point in the sky where those two lines would cross or would intersect is the approximate location of the south celestial pole. So let's, let's see. Let's turn on our constellation lines. And you can see that the point in the sky where this line here and a line drawn here would intersect would be about here within the boundaries of the constellation Octans. And the south celestial pole is about right here where my arrow is. So that method works pretty good. Okay, so let's, um, there are no Messier objects in Crux, but there are, there are several things that are interesting. And let's start with the four stars themselves. And they are, let's see what they're named. Um, this one here is Gamma. Here's Delta. And here's, here's 
alpha cruces and here's beta cruces. So we have alpha and beta and gamma cruces and delta cruces. So that makes it easy. The four brightest stars in crux are alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. That's the way it should be. I thought maybe it would be different from that. I'm just glad to see that it's not. Okay, let's take a closer look at alpha cruces because it's also a double star. Let's see if Stellarium splits it. Let's take a look through the finder. And yes, it does. Alpha Crucis splits very nicely. In fact, this is a, a really, really attractive field of view here. You've got the double star here, um, Alpha Crucis or A Crux. And you have this nice line of stars here, including another double not too far from Alpha. And another one here. And another one here. So plenty to look at in this region. Let's have a look through the eyepiece. Stunning view. Well, this would be amazing. Let's take a trip down south, shall we? We've got a crux here, Alpha Crucis, and you've got another double here, another double here, another double here, and then this nice line of stars right here. Alpha Crucis itself, or a crux, is 320 light years from Earth. Very nice. I was really pleasantly surprised with that. Um, you're kind of taking this adventure along with me. I haven't done a lot with the southern sky. So as I'm doing this uh, presentation, I'm also learning right along with you. So let's go back out to a naked eye view. And let's, let's venture to a darker site. Who wouldn't want to see the southern sky from a dark location? Holy mackerel. Okay, let's get our bearings again here. We're in Buenos Aires. We're looking south, a little bit to the southeast, about halfway up. And you can't miss this tight grouping of four stars here. That is the Southern Cross. And again, this, this second cross up here is known as the false cross. So it would be easy to spot that first, but you have to think, wait a minute, where's Alpha and Beta Centauri? They're way down here. So this one here is the real thing. And you can see that um, Crux here, this constellation, let's go ahead and draw the boundaries here. You can see how small it is. It also includes part of this, this dark nebula here. And that is known as the coal sac. So most of the coal sac is located within the constellation boundaries of Crux. <clears throat> okay, so it looks like on my star chart here that Gamma Crucis is also a double star. Let's see, Alpha, Beta, Gamma, right? Yeah, there's Gamma. So let's see if Gamma splits. This is a magnitude 1.5 star. Really pretty area of the sky. Wow, holy mackerel. And you can see that gamma, you can just see it start to split here in the finder. So once again, this would be another gorgeous star to look at through the eyepiece. Um, through a low power eyepiece here, you've got some nebulosity in the background. It's Milky Way background stars and you have a really bright gold and a slightly fainter pale blue star absolutely spectacular uh gamma crucis is located 88 light years from earth Okay, um, I've got two more double stars here to go for. Um, the next one is Iota Crucis. So let's use our go-to here. And it looks like Iota is this little star right next to Beta. 
Well, let's have a look at IOTA. This one is 125 light years away and shines at magnitude 4.6. And through a low power eyepiece, um, IOTA Crucis splits really nicely into another gold and blue. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I have one more double here, and that's Mu Crucis. Let's see if Stellarium splits this one. It does very nicely. Now, this one needs a little bit more power than the others did. Now, through a 9 millimeter Teleview Delight eyepiece, it really does split night. This is a closer double. Um, this one's located 414 light years from Earth, shining at magnitude 4. Really impressive. This little constellation packs a real punch. It is the sky's smallest constellation, but given its location here right in the heart of the Milky Way and right next to the coal sack, the fact that it has four such prominent stars make it a really stunning constellation. Um, we also have another deep sky object to look for and that is NGC 4755, otherwise known as the Jewel Box. So with a name like that, it's got to be gorgeous. NGC 4755. If you've got a go-to telescope, use it. Okay, this is a fourth magnitude open star cluster. And through the finder scope, you can see that it is a really tight grouping of fairly bright stars. It's located... Um, 11,200 light years from Earth, which would be expected for a, a tight globular cluster, I mean a tight open cluster. This also has a Caldwell number, Caldwell 94. Well, let's back off the power just a little bit here. There we go. There's the jewel box with a 24 millimeter low power eyepiece. And I can see why it's called that. It does look like it has sort of a square shape, and it is full of sparkly stars of all different brightness levels. So I am sure that through an actual eyepiece that this would be amazing to look at. It really makes me want to take a trip down south. So this concludes my tour of Crux, the Southern Cross. Thank you so much for joining me tonight, folks. Good night and good seeing.